Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. This is Property Management 101, and today we'll be discussing the three best practices when it comes to performing inspections. If you've not already done so, please watch my disclosure video as well as my why I do this video. If you find this video helpful and learn something new, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications. This video will be helpful for anyone in the multifamily, student housing, or single family side of the industry that is involved with this inspection process. Number one best practice to keep in mind when it comes to inspections, determine the frequency. This is the first step to determine what frequency you want to perform with your inspections. At student housing in a multifamily style site, it is common to perform three to four inspections per year. In conventional side of the multifamily, I've often seen two to three times a year, and in the single family side of the management, I see one to two times a year in the most common frequencies. You will want to consider reviewing your lease prior to see if it is outlined what is allowed and not allowed. If it is not something that is outlined and you have influence in creating the frequency, please consider the ones I've already mentioned. Whatever frequency you choose, I would recommend to include this in the move-in packet so the residents are well aware of what to expect. Number two best practice to keep in mind when it comes to inspections, your game plan. Each time you and your team perform an inspection, you should have a game plan on what the focus will be of the inspection. What things are you checking? Are there things that you are replacing or inspecting every time like smoke detectors, air filters, and lease violations? Are there things that you'll be inspecting more thoroughly at certain times of year? For example, in the winter months, you may be double checking all doors and windows are functioning correctly and sealing correctly. Maybe in the warmer months, determining if the AC coils need cleaned. Number three best practice to keep in mind when performing inspections, Communicate to residents. Ensure the inspection process is added to your movement packet. Ensure that prior to coming to the asset that they're aware of the date that you'll be inspecting. Communicate to them what you're inspecting as part of your, part of your visit. And I would also recommend informing the residents at least a week and within 24 hours of the inspection. You want to make sure the residents are aware and if they need to do anything in preparation for this inspection that they have enough time to do so and the ability to ask any questions that they may have. When you and your team performs an inspection, it can be a sensitive time for residents as you're in their personal space and we want to make sure that we are as considerate as possible. I hope you found the information I shared today helpful and learned something new and made it a little bit easier for you and your staff. If you did, please feel free to like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications. Happy leasing!